Hello guys, this is Alex with another plumbing video. Tonight we're gonna work on an American standard toilet. This is a Champion 4 and uh, we're gonna replace uh, the flush valve seal. If your toilet runs once in a while, if you see the water running inside your uh, toilet and you hear the, uh, the fill valve running, you know, filling the tank up again, it's because either um, you have to adjust your uh, fill valve, but more than likely your seal, the flush valve seal, it's faulty because after a few years it wears out and it develops some blisters. I don't know if you can see this blister here. It's like one of one eighth blister, and then the water start passing through here because now it's not flat anymore there's blisters there's bumps and it allows the water to pass through here and then uh, what's going to do it's going to the water in your tank is going to go lower and then it's going to activate your fill valve again so if you hear it once in a while filling up when you didn't flush it then uh, this is your problem so tonight i'm going to show you how to replace the, the American Standard Champion 4 Flush Valve Seal Kit. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna shut the water off because we don't wanna waste any water as we work. And now flush your toilet to remove the water that is in the tank by the seal so you can work on it. So to make it easier, uh, this is your flush arm and then your flapper, your valve is attached to this clevis pin and this, uh, this is the pin. It's a very small pin. So what we're gonna do, so you're gonna grab that tiny pin and you're gonna remove it from the clevis pin. So just pull, See, you see it, it's very small. So don't lose it, put it in a safe place. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this clevis pin. And this comes with the chain like that. And we're gonna remove it too, so we don't lose it. So we're gonna put it in a safe place. And now this is the valve. And what we're gonna do, you're gonna grab this black, this is a knot. So we're gonna go counterclockwise to remove it. So we're gonna go left counterclockwise and you're gonna make pressure against itself so it can it kinds of uh, um, doesn't allow to move the bottom part because inside there is the screw part. This is like the nut part and the screw part is inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go left counterclockwise and you have to hear the click. Do you hear that click? That's, that's good, we're in the right track. So now we are going to keep turning left. And you have to go about eight full turns. So that's three, four, Keep doing it until it comes, until you look at that. So this is one of the seals. This seal is gonna seal against this part so no water goes inside. So we're gonna replace that too. So then you're gonna grab this part, this green, and this has the seal. And if you could see, it's worn out. Uh, so this is the new part. This is the American standard part. And that's the 7301111-0070AP. So that's that. So that comes with the seal and with with the uh, the valve seal and the upper seal as well that's so you're gonna you're gonna remove this seal 
and then you're gonna put the new one and be careful because he is fragile so you're gonna put it in right here in that it just fits right there so that's it so now what we're gonna do this is the upper the green part uh, and the seal doesn't have a right or left because they are made the same so this is a new white seal clear and then we are just gonna go and put it inside and it fits perfect and then you're gonna push it push all the way around until it's it seems like it doesn't click, but it feels like it clicks in. And like then it. we're gonna put it right through this screw, this plastic screw. Look at that, you can see it there. And now this plastic screw is inside and this is her plastic nut. So now uh, you're gonna go inside and then just gonna put it center it and then just go clockwise and then press down as you turn so it grabs the plastic or, uh, screw and then as it starts as you start feeling some friction you're gonna wait uh, you're gonna stop until you hear a click so no that's not it so just keep going So now what we have to do to put it back, we're going to do the same. Just uh, put your clever spring through the eyelet and then you're going to put it, pass it through. You're going to just push the pin just so it clicks. There you go. And now we're going to grab the chain and we're going to hook it. Here. You're gonna pass it through. And then make sure there's not a lot of slack. And then you're just gonna push in. Look, make sure there's not too much slack here. And then you're gonna click it he right here. You're gonna click it here so it, it stays there in that uh, channel. So now your toilet is ready to flush again. So let's remove the old. So make sure you place the fill hose, the fill valve hose where it goes. Now we're gonna turn the water back on. And when it fills up, it's going to stop. So when it stops, uh, if you don't hear any other noise, that means that the seal valve it's sealing and now we're gonna flush look at that so that's it guys if uh if you like this video or if it was useful please like it and subscribe